Hey everyone, it's Gan from Pappy's TechSuit, and today we're going to be looking at my favorite budget USB microphone, the Fifine 669B. So over the past few videos, we've looked at some great tech to help enhance your work from home setup. Uh, and that included the Blue Yeti and the Logitech Brio. Now, while these are great pieces of tech that I highly recommend because I use them basically on a daily basis, I recognize that many of you are on a budget. You know, with the whole COVID situation, or you might just be students, or you just can't justify spending over $100 on a microphone. So that's why we're going to be looking at some amazing budget tech, starting with the Fifine 669B. So in our last video, we looked at the Blue Yeti, and that's a content creator favorite for a USB microphone of choice. And in that video, I compared it to the Fifine microphone, because even though it costs less than half the price of the Yeti, it sounds almost as good. I really think that the Fifine is an overachiever, and that's why you'll be hearing me compare it to the Yeti a lot here. It's just that good. A fairer comparison would probably be to the Blue Snowball, but I only have the Yeti, so I'll compare it to that. So I bought the Fifine 669B from Amazon about a year ago for $80 Canadian, which at the time was a great price in my opinion for a very capable USB microphone. The price has since dropped to $63 Canadian or about 43 US, which is an amazing deal. And in my Blue Yeti review, I said that the Fifine was the best bang for your buck when it comes to USB microphones. And with even lower prices than before, the 669B is more appealing than ever. The 669B is packaged in a tiny body that actually looks pretty good, other than the tripod stand it comes with. I'm not a fan of the stand at all, especially compared to something like the Blue Yeti, but the stand can be removed and the microphone can be mounted on the standard 5 8 inch thread. So going back to its tiny size, I think it's great how much space you can save on your desk compared to the Yeti. The 669B has a dial for the gain on the front and a non-detachable USB cord. Unlike the Yeti, there is no light indicator on this microphone. So I personally use the Blue Yeti for all my desktop microphone needs. From voiceovers to online meetings, I'm basically using it daily. I do prefer the fuller sound of the Yeti compared to the Fifine, and you get many more features with the Yeti. From different modes to a headphone jack and a much better stand and body. But you're stuck paying between $150 to $180 for the Yeti. And for many people, you're not going to use it enough to justify that price or the tasks that you need a USB microphone for don't really take advantage of the Yeti's features. If you just need a good sounding USB microphone for online lectures, meetings, and calls, the Fifine will be more than enough for the needs. Like I said in the Blue Yeti review, I love the sound quality from both of these microphones, and I do think that the Fifine has a much better sound for the price. But everyone has their own tastes and preferences, so I'll do a sound test to let you hear the Fifine and hear how it compares to the Yeti. All right, so first up, I have the Fifine 669B, and just to show you that you don't need that horrible stand that it comes with, I, uh, I have it mounted to the Blue Radius 3 shock mount, and this shock mount is actually the one that I have my Blue Yeti with normally. And yeah, just listening to the microphone, I think you could tell and you can understand why I call this the best budget USB microphone. I mean, it sounds great, and like for the price, you're paying less than half uh, the price of the Yeti, I think it's outstanding. And uh, just so you can hear the difference between the two microphones, uh, next up we'll be listening to the Blue Yeti. So next we have the Blue Yeti. And I have this operating in cardioid mode, which is the same mode that the Fifine operates in. So I do personally think the Yeti does sound better and it has a better fuller sound. But for the price, I don't think it's worth it for most people. I mean, I think that with this being less than half the price of the Yeti, it's a much better deal. And most people that are using this only for online lectures, meetings, and gaming, they won't even be using the features of the Yeti. So the Fifine is probably the way to go. And with that, you have an idea of how both of these microphones sound. So you can judge personally which sounds better to you. If you're looking for a USB microphone for voice calls, meetings, streaming, or gaming, but you don't want to break the bank, the Fifine 669B is the way to go. It's as simple as that. You get sound quality comparable to the Yeti for less than half the price, but you do lose out on certain features that you probably won't need anyways. I still believe that this is the best sound for the price, and at this price, you'll forgive most of its shortcomings. So I hope this review helped you with your microphone purchasing decision. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.